Previously on Inside the Superdraft. He agreed, signed a contract, and, and we got our guy. We think we may want to make some moves uh, to pick up some other first round picks. We look at this draft as, as, an, as an opportunity to get another good player uh, that's going to add depth to our group. Today has been quite a flurry of activity in terms of trades, one of which we, we just pulled off. Bringing in seven young players in one season would, would not be very wise. Troy is, is what we think is one of the better uh, goalkeepers in the United States and certainly in MLS. We'll see how it goes as, as the draft unfolds. With all the preparation done, it was time for the teams to start making their selections, and Philadelphia was on the clock. The first overall selection was essentially a foregone conclusion for the Philadelphia staff. Rob Vartugian, Peter Novak, John Hackworth, and Nick Sakevich. <laughs> With the second pick, New York's draft day staff, consisting of new head coach Hans Baca, goalkeeper coach Des Mekalinen, general manager Eric Soler, and assistant coach Richie Williams, surprised no one with their selection. The New York Red Bulls select Tony Johnny. as the top two picks met with the media. The next three selections went to form. Ike Opara. Bunbury's next. It's pretty predictable so far, huh? This guy, Zach Lyon, said very, very versatile. This one? Yeah, yeah. The union made good on their promise to acquire another first round selection, sending allocation money to FC Dallas for the sixth pick. We're going to pick him six. We're going to pick him seven. It was pretty much as mocked out um, straight through our seventh pick, you know, our sixth and seventh. It was we were batting a thousand in terms of guessing who was going to go when, uh, which was nice to see. And then six came and seven came, and we we picked our two guys there, and so we got exactly who we wanted to get. Philadelphia Union select from UCLA, midfielder Amobi Okugo. Philadelphia Union. For Akugo, McInerney, and the rest of the draftees, the day was just beginning. As they said hello to the front office and coaching staff of their new team, were ushered backstage for their first interactions with the media, and even got a chance to meet the members of the Union Supporters Club, the Sons of Ben. Very unique also to pick those three guys we picked in the first round in our home city with, you know, a couple hundred of our hardcore Sons of Ben fans. It was a pretty special day. With seven players gone, New York had another seven picks to go until its second selection of the day. At number 14, if this kid Zach Shalowski's around, I'm thinking the kid's in green, we might be able to save until 18. You I, I can't guarantee it, but I, there's a chance. That's my pick. Yeah. Can I hire him? Uh, can I fire him from the technical stuff, please? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want him. The New England Revolution select from Wake Forest University forward Zach Shalosky. 
like him to right. With Shalowski off the board, New York turned its attention to midfielders who would complement the strengths of Tony Chan. Good pace, good on the ball. I mean, you, you want him in the box. That's what I mean. If we have him box to box, and this young, this other kid, he's the holding guy. He's very good on the ball. Exactly. 20. With the 10th pick of the first round of the 2010 MLS Super Draft, CD Chivas, USA, select midfielder Blair Gavin. That's him. That's the guy we're talking about. With a nice touch. Could we take Corbin Bone? Yeah, if Corbin Bone's there, we take Corbin Bone. That's him if he's an elder. If he gets taken right now, yeah, that is yeah. Thing. what's the next uh, call? Then we got the, uh, this one the, the Austin Deleuze, who's the left midfielder. I like him. You like him better? San Jose GM John Doyle approached the table with the first of many trade offers. I asked him to give us a give us a thousand and they would give us this pick, 19. We gotta wait and see if Corbin Bones there. We gotta... Chicago Fire select Corbin Bone. Forced to alter their draft strategy once again, the tension heightened around the Red Bulls table as pick 14 became the focus of the day. On the next episode of Inside the Super Draft, the spotlight turns to the Red Bulls table. Richie, 100. And the pressure is mounting. We can take a time out and think about it even more. The table talk heats up as the Super Draft rolls on from Philly.